say sorry, but I'm not taking on my glass. Locker takes a shot, it's low! No. He's got it! I think he's got it! Merlin, are you going to speak? But for me, it was a winner. David. Well, I'm afraid it wasn't for me, Margaret. Thank God you're here. Grandma's been raped. On. Welcome back to <laughs> On The Air Tonight, the number one podcast reviewing free-to-air television. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And that might be the cleanest introduction we've had to date. I wish I didn't sound sad about saying my name, just to tap it off. I'm, Je I'm Tom. I'm Tom. <laughs> Why, Jacob? I'm Tom again. Well, we thought we saw the, the show we watched today. We thought we saw people introduce, like, seeing each other, like, for the second time. They were just like, Jake! Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, Tino. Yeah, we, Tino. We, who we'll get into is just the most excited man in the world. But we'll get into, we'll get into the content very soon. How are you good, sir? I'm good, mate. Good. Happy to be here for another week of OTA. Mate, absolutely. Highlight of our week. Highlight of our week. I get to look at Warney on the wall now. You guys can't see that, but is it, I'll, I'll post it on OTA socials. It's an, almost an oil painting mm. of Shane Warner up here in Trademark Studios. Yeah, so we're, we're back in the TM studios. Thanks again to the boys for, for letting us in, in here and just being absolute grubs for, uh, for 60 minutes. But yeah, if, you, if you're listening, there's some awesome decor. So go check out the, the the video on YouTube. We've got Dumb and Dumber behind us. Samuel L. Jackson eating a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> boiga. Eating a big kahuna burger. And then on the other side... Oh, with cheese. The, probably the focal point is a, a nice, a, as Tom said, an oil painting of Shane Warne just yeah. going up and just doing the dirty business. Looking yoked out of his mind as well. Yeah. It, probably in the best shape he was ever yeah, in. He's had a shredded 22% body fat there. Yeah, yeah. This is... Um, but it's still just... Pounding back four cities a, a a game easily. Oh yeah, you can just you can you can smell it on his breath from here. <laughs> it's me sitting here. He's staining the painting just as one just one frame. <laughs> that's why there's a like yellow tinge over the whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't that meant to look old? It looks brand new, and then Shane breathed on it. <laughs> the most lethargic athlete of all time. The the real life Kenny Powers. Yeah, I yep. feel like if you've seen Eastbound and Down. Um, the creators of that show had to have seen, had to be across Warney's career. Surely. Warney as a character. I'm just a regular guy with an arm like a fucking rocket. Yeah. I'm just like out of shape in every other facet of my life. Yeah. But this thing right here is the money maker. Yeah. I suppose the difference with like Kenny Powers is like, it's the only guy who's clocked like a hundred mile per hour pitch. Whereas yeah, like ever. Shane Warne, it's like just, just curveball, just complete finesse. Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't take any explosiveness at all like obviously i'm yeah. not undermining the amount of finesse it took or like dexterity or skill i can see from the painting the work that goes into it right now <laughs> yeah. a lot of skill there but no it's not just brute strength just working up working up sweat on the first bowl yeah it's gonna be a long day boys i suppose there was uh, like i imagine there's a baseball version of of warning out there that kenny powers is probably based on like most of those pitches are, are fat as fuck over there, but just have like power. Arms. They do. They they can have some beef beef on them. Usually yeah. the the batters. Yeah. We usually have like because they've got to have a bit of core to. Yeah. Not of, that I watch a lot of baseball. A lot of core strength. Yeah, but it's yeah. One, one sport you can get away with having a bit of a cheeky gut. Yeah, that and chess. Yeah, is that a sport? Yeah, it's. They have like chess. Uh, they have like is chess that, championships. Is that in the? That's not in the like Commonwealth Games or anything, is it? I don't think so. How about darts? Darts, yeah, darts, darts. You can have a gut in the the only sport where you see the athletes having a beer like yeah. mid set. Yeah, it probably helps them. Yeah, it's like Paul. Yeah, I play better when I'm smished. Yeah, you just get in that Goldilocks zone. They're just like, I'm a fucking comedian. Yeah. I can th throw a dart straight <laughs> or oh, beer pong. I uh, play better when I'm pissed, man. <laughs> When in reality, you just get super lucky when you <laughs> yeah. have a couple of beers. Yeah, there's no consistency to anyone's beer pong game. No, no. Everyone's like a, a nine, one nine, and a three the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It just mm. it just depends on the rub of the green, yeah, the rub of the, the rub of the ping, the rub of the turf. Um, but before we do get into the content for this week, um, we did get a, a brand new review from um, from an anonymous. On this is on Apple Podcasts, not part Australian, part Chinese. No, nah, it's not pap. So. Um, so the the show's slowly gro growing some traction and we've got a reviewer by the name of Sausage Fingers. A second reviewer, <laughs> Sausage Fingers. Sausage Fingers. That's good. Big thick boy. Big thick sausage fingers. Um, so he says, um, 
I didn't know what to expect uh, first listening, so I had no expectations. Okay. But once I first settled into a couple of episodes, I found myself giggling along with Tom and Jake. Not only do these lads get a giggle, but they are surprisingly informative. Their knowledge on free-to-air content and the faces that graces our screen is abundant. Oh, the faces that graces. That's the far. I misspoke. <laughs> the faces that grace our screen. Oh, don't correct yourself. That's still that's still quite poetic. Um, nice. Is abundant, proving to their parents those college dollars weren't wasted. <laughs> Didn't go to college. <laughs> Spoiler alert: This is my brother. I yeah. so went to uni. <laughs> he knows. He knows he didn't go to uni. He's still calling you out. Yeah, okay. It would have been a waste if you went. Yeah, fucking college dollars down the drain. <laughs> Parents spared no expense on you, mate. I just bought you an Xbox because they knew you were just a waste of time. They knew you were going to host a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep, so waste of the college dollars. Uh, a lot of eps are kicked off chatting about humorous drunken antics. But these mm. boys aren't just full of state school hat rack. Oh, wait, sorry. But these boys aren't just as full as a state school hat rack. <laughs> no, they are also full of love, wit, banter, and bad manners with a nip of class. Mm. Okay, emoji. Mm. Well worth a listen. Thanks, uh, thanks, sausage this fingers. This much class. Yeah. The amount that you can squeeze between an okay emoji. Yeah. With the forefinger and the thumb. It's just threading threading the eye of the needle. Yeah. Amount, amount of class. Yeah. This much. <laughs> Um, well, well, thank you, Sausage Fingers. Yeah, thanks, Saucy. Yeah, nice. Was there a title for that review? Um, actually, I think the title of the review was Sausage Fingers. <laughs> okay. And his, his, name, his name is Steadfast and Loyal. <laughs> Basically, because his, his nickname's Steady. Yeah, that's sick. Yep. Steadfast and Loyal. Just doxing. Don't doxing make me bring out back the pirate room. accent, Sausage <laughs> Fingers. <laughs> People got enough of <laughs> Steadfast and Loyal. <laughs> they got enough scurvy last week. <laughs> Ice road steadfast. <laughs> um, no, no pirates on the content we're watching this no. week. Wait. Full as a state school hat, right? Yeah. I like that. Well done. Yeah. If you guys want to leave a review, if you guys want to leave a review, jump <laughs> jump online. It's not only family members, brothers and fathers of the pod that can leave a review. It can, it's open to anyone. Yeah. Not just next of kin. It can. If you want to jump on YouTube, you can uh, rate the episodes. Apple Podcasts, you can only rate the entire show. So... Episode twenty one, mm -hmm. above double above above a score, one uh, above a score. Uh, yeah, one above a score, twenty one, plenty of fun. This <laughs> week we took a look at a show that's air airing on SBS on demand. Um, it's been uh, something of a, a cult show, a class uh, had a cult following throughout the UK for a number of years. Mm. A show called Come Dine with Me. Come Dine with Me, mm -hmm. the most British experience I've ever had. Yes, absolutely. Other than Attenborough's. Another Earth, a dive into the deep safari. Yes, it's it, it's a close second. It's a close British second. To Attenborough's Winfield smoked pipes, a bee's dick away <laughs> from the bra, the Attenborough himself. So, a quick synopsis on what come dine with me is if, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what it is. Uh, in order to become the perfect dinner party host, each participant takes turns during the week to cook and, and entertain the rest. The rivals, meanwhile, snoop around the house and award points in the end. Snoop around the house. Yeah, so... I guess they did, yeah. They did a little bit. So um, the show originally started in 2005, and then they did a bit of a spin-off called Come Dine With Me Couples, yeah, which is started in like 2014, which is what we watched. I think the episodes for Come Dine With Me are usually pretty bite-sized, like 22, 23 minutes long. And we, um, the couples episodes are usually about three quarters of an hour. Yeah, so if, if it's... If we, like. If we're the contestants, you'd come over to my house with two other people. Yep. I'd cook for you and to try and entertain you. And then we do it for the three other guests. At the end, everyone votes mm -hmm. and then the winner gets a thousand pounds, which is probably equivalent yeah. to probably say a uh, hundred thousand Australian dollars, I'd say, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and it looks like that on the show as well. The fake Monopoly money they lay out, which we'll get to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of quiche. Yeah. But they, um, they, yeah, so they... One person, one couple cooks, they're at the, the other three couples sit there and enjoy it and then they give their own personal scores at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But I guess the difference is, I mean, the, where the tension comes from is when they're at the dinner table face-to-face, -face, they go, oh, this is lovely. Oh, mm. th these prawns, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. king prawns, not bad. And queen, king prawns and guacamole. In the same in the same breath, spitting it into a napkin. Just yeah. Like, oh. And then they get to the cutaway, which is them, I guess, snooping around the house, mm -hmm. which is, we were thinking 
because they obviously do a cutaway to just a shot of the couple talking to the camera. Mm-hmm. And we're like, is this shot in the person's fucking bathroom? Like, yeah. Like, it, it's always just the strangest decor and the strangest set. And, yeah, that's them snooping around the house as they just, like, duck upstairs, go to their bedroom and sit on the end of their bed and, um, and give a review of the food of their actual thoughts of it. Yeah, so they obviously have the dining room, which is where most of the the, 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 the fat of the content comes from, the mm. majority of it. And then they'll do like a behind, like a, a secret interview with the couples going, oh, so what do you think of the food? Yeah. And yeah, one, one like the majority of the interviews were in people's master bedrooms. Like, surely you could have done this in like the living room or something. <laughs> yeah, outside on the deck maybe. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, they're just, it's the most fucking small, ugly British decor you've ever seen. It's, it's everyone crammed into like, cubic squared meter it's very yeah and like with they they must just find yeah the most just like common folk because like some of the some of the as you said the decor is just tacky yeah. like what what was on one of the oh, walls yeah. um yeah so one so there's three couples we'll go through them in a, in a moment for this episode we watched season uh 17 i believe we watched uh it was ep- the couples eps in essex essex uh, yep and uh, as an example of some of the decor that one of the couples had on their wall, uh, they had love and dreams written. And then they had one of those just like- In the exact font that you're picturing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the same one that says like live, laugh, love. Yeah. Yeah. And then they also had on the opposite wall, one of those like tacky, like office works. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I'm trying to think of what like that stationary uh, store is called. Um, Smiggle. Smiggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like one of those Smiggle billboards that are only like- 30 centimeters yeah, tall. Big, but, yeah. then, but then you put the letters in yourself and you can make the sign, whatever you want. Yeah, and it's meant to look really Hollywood, but they, what do they put? Um, good good vibes only. Good vibes only. <laughs> <laughs> With little love hearts either side of it. And the woman who did it, who brought all this together, is that her name's Karen. Of Karen, course. yeah. You know. Oh, it's oh, it's all coming together. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. Of course, it's a Karen that has love and dreams written on the wall. It's not like, it's not even just like a display. A like, sign they put up. Yeah. It's like painted on. It's not like a, yeah, uh, a bit, bit of driftwood that they've done comic sands on. They've yeah. actually gotten someone in, pa- like paid a tradie to like, yeah. can you paint this on the wall? Just, <laughs> yeah, all right, love. <laughs> You want, you're going to pay me for this. I'll no, do no, it. Take it for free. I'll, I'll do it for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Oi, Paul, get in here. <laughs> she wants love and dreams on the wall, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, it's half price. Seriously, just throw us a fucking beer for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You paid us in giggles today, Karen. When can we put bullshit and lollipops <laughs> on the other wall on the bedroom upstairs, eh? <laughs> Hubby, Paul, you cool with this? I guess, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, she's happy wife, happy life, eh, hey, lads? So yeah, the the first culprit we talked about, the first couple is Paul and Karen, um, a lovely couple, and they introduced themselves. They said, "Yeah, we we met uh, on a on a dating website, so mm. Tinder or Grinder." Mm. Um, these and guys, these guys are an eHarmony type for sure. Probably eHarmony or plenty of they're bit a of little pof, bit older. Plenty of fish. Pof, oh, plenty of fish. Yeah. Is that another one? You don't know. I haven't heard of plenty of fish. Mate, no. I thought you were the the dating app aficionado. <laughs> no, I do. Getting tips here. <laughs> hey, this is just what I've heard from uh, from this from sources, mate. I do my research. On the, on the grapevine. <laughs> plenty of fish is a good one. Plenty of fish is like a free version. It's yeah. Okay. Where you'll probably see a bit more description than something on Tinder. Yeah. Right. Is it more relationshipy than uh, than just one night stand? Yeah, I'd say so. Hey, I'm Darlene. I'm a single mum with three kids. I like going to the beach on the weekend with my dog Scrap. Um, I like doing this, that, and the other. Yeah. And I don't date smokers. Yeah. Inquire within. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Swipe her left. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> She's got kids. Just delete it. Yeah. On to the next app. <laughs> yeah. Just sat that deterred from the first candidate. Oh, I'm going to try this new website, Plenty of Fish. Ah! Fuck! Oh, there's plenty of apps in the sea. <laughs> Fuck, delete it. In the ethos. <laughs> be back. Oh, plenty of apps on the store. Fuck it. I'll try Grinder. At least there's better banter there. <laughs> At least the lads got good chat. Yeah. I just have to do other things I don't like. So Paul and Karen met on one of those bullshit dating sites, yeah. and uh, Karen was like, "Yeah, his his opening line was yum, yum," <laughs> and our reaction was yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally both of us when he said it, we were, <laughs> come on, mate. But, and, and, and he's like, he stands by it. He's like, he's like, mm, straightforward. Yeah. Yep. To the point. Smooth operator yeah. I am. And 
Did it work, love? <laughs> You're still with me. She's like, I guess. We're doing a shitty reality game show. Yeah. <laughs> we must be in love, eh? Hey, Darlene? Doing it for a, a thousand bob, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Paul, Paul and Karen, a little bit of a synopsis on them. Paul is probably yeah. like the the quintessential, typical, like, British bloke. He's mm. a... He DJs in Ibiza. Oh. Um, got some got some shock and gnashes on him. Yeah. Could fucking eat an apple through a tennis racket. <laughs> he, um, she compliments him on his stunning smile at one point. She's like, I, would, I, I just love his buck teeth. His, yeah, his buck teeth and his lisp. And he's like, I don't have a lisp. How long have you known it's, me? Yeah. I thought you liked me. I thought you liked me, Karen. She was like, yeah, I'm, no, I like all the shit things about you, like your lisp. Yeah, how is how is the one thing that you point out that you like about your partner just like, oh, yeah, I like their shit smile and their, the way they can't talk properly. Yeah. It's like, it's called, I'm just, it's called being British, Karen. What do you want from me? You want good teeth? Go find yourself a, a yank. This has just become into Tom and I, how well can we do a, an accent from a certain part of the world? I think we'll make it through an entire show one day with just our own voices. But it's not today. That'll be the day. Uh, one day. Even even the Aussie ones we have to put on, <laughs> like Bogan Hunties. Oh, I am. Oh, this is uh, yeah, my home away from home. Yeah, we end up doing just parodies of, our, of ourselves at, the, at one point. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just can't even get through a whole show without roasting Tom and Jacob. Yeah, talking about myself. Oh, so last week I was... Cause that's so, you I, know, when I was at the pub and I was fucking, oh, Tom, 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 fucking yeah. this, <laughs> Because that's what I sound like. <laughs> Jacob chimes in fucking rah, rah, rah. Even with headphones on hearing myself, I know I don't sound like that. This isn't me. My memory's telling me what I really sound like. <laughs> Can't even nail a Tom. <laughs> Bro, what? you do the worst Tom impression, Tom. Just having a third person dialogue with yourself in the mirror. <laughs> that impersonation yourself was shit, man. Insanity. <laughs> just me in the twilight zone. Your therapist is just there writing down, just mm, mm, interesting. <laughs> Do you hear voices? Mm. Yeah, the impressions of myself. And though. I talk to them as well. Yeah. We go, we go. Good bit of chat, me and Tom. It's, he's got good banter. It's more you can say for Jake from Maths. Yes. Um, or these guys. Oh yes, these guys. So that's one couple. The next couple was a um, Zimbabwean English couple of uh, Petronella and Tino. Um, Love, lovely salt of the earth people. I think they, they didn't really have that much of a uh, an intro story, but Tino uh, is seen as a bit of a smooth operator throughout the show. And uh, uh, what's her name? I just said her name. Petronella. Petro. Pe Pet Petronella. Petronella, Petronella is, is his queen. Petronella Pet Citronella. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Smell good, <laughs> baby. <Zimbabweans>. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Petro seven seed or Big Tino? <laughs> Tino and fridge to freezer. Tino, well, uh, you know that that big Titans player, Tino Fasua Malawi. Now I do. <laughs> He's a, everyone just calls him Big Tino because he can't pronounce his surname. Yeah. So this couple is Petro seven receiver and um, Tino Fasua Malawi. Every every broadcaster just struggles just seeing the apostrophes in the yeah. name. Just like nah. Yeah. Ray Warren is like, I'm not doing it. I'm not even doing Tino. Just Big, big T. Big T. <laughs> That's easy too. But the woman's name is Petro and the guy's name is Tino. It's probably just the uh, ex-NRL players in disguise. Yeah. We're, we're going to go win a thousand pounds. We're going to the UK, setting up a new life. But they're Zimbabwean. They are, yeah, Zimbabwean English. So this is all set in Essex, as, as I mentioned. And then the third and final couple is Paul and Lucy, um, who I just wrote down as loud banter. Yeah. It's probably the best way to describe them. Basically another version of the first couple. Yeah, just like... Super British looking bloke who <laughs> later in the episodes, later in the episode, he's like, just like he talks about wanting, he, like how he loves to sleep outside. He <laughs> just wants to get away from his missus for a bit. I just love being under the stars and, yeah. you know, just being away from Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> you know, when you get home after a hard day's work and you just want to sleep out, you put the fire on and you just don't want the fucking gnat of your missus. It's just like, like oh. oh. It's just like an earworm just drilling into your brain. And she's sitting there like, oh, yeah, no, I do love to chew his ear off when he gets home. But the, um, the yeah, the two the two white couples will say, like, the, mm. the, both, two, the two, both of the blokes are named Paul. So it's Paul and Paul. It's like, you couldn't find another couple with just a different bloke's name, just to d differentiate it a, a bit more. Nah, two white British Pauls. But then they throw the Zimbabweans. They throw Petro and Tino in the mix for a mm -hmm. bit of... Bit of diversity. Bit of diversity. And yep. uh, it turns out at the first dinner party that they go to, mm -hmm. hosted by 
Paul and Karen. Um, it's really the, the white couple, Paul and Karen and Paul and Lucy. Mm-hmm. They hit it off. Yeah. And they're, they're going back and forth, bit of banter between the two of them. And they're having a great time. And then you've got Tino and Ka- Tino and Petro mm. on the other end of the table. And just they just don't get, <laughs> they just don't get it. Mm. Just gonna send them. Mm. So you guys are having fun, aren't you? Just, just, just witnessing these guys talking about their shit dental plan and and Paul being a DJ in Ibiza. Yeah. And they're just sitting there going, Petro and Tino sitting there going, can, can you give me the accent? I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> we came here to win the money. We're cutting that part. <laughs> no, we're not cutting. <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> it's not racist. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable doing it into a mic. <laughs> We do every other accent under the sun. But yeah, they're just Petro, Petro and Tino are just sitting there just like, mm, okay, we're here to win some money. You're really not going to do it. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so off it. I'm not going to be the only one sitting here not doing it. Um, no, we, we, we don't have to go down that far. Why, why do white people always bond with each other and not with the people across the room? <laughs> Is it because I served your sweet potato as a dessert? <laughs> Huh? Just because I made sweet potato because the pumpkins are out of season. <laughs> Sebastian the crab. <laughs> the only dessert we can think of is sweet potato <laughs> with whipped cream on top. <laughs> and guacamole with no avocado. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm, 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 we're cutting all of this <laughs> in. <laughs> bring the dessert that the Zimbabweans make, Petro and Tito, they bring out mashed sweet potato yep. and peanut butter mixed in with whipped cream out of a can on top. That's the three ingredients. It's, it, it, yeah, I think that they, they this made- This is a natural Zimbabwean <laughs> dish. <laughs> I'm not doing the accent, hey. <laughs> I'm so off that. <laughs> what do you mean you do it like it? <laughs> people, are, people already know you're a racist, Jacob. Why do you hide the fact that you are? Come on now. Why you hide from me? Tell the people about this story. All, All of a sudden you jump on the podcast, put the microphone in front of you and you're upstanding citizen, huh? Is that French? Huh? <laughs> All right, I'm really real. I'm reeling it back in. <laughs> so they, so Paul and Karen are the first to host. So you've got Paul and Karen, yum on pop, yum. Petronella and Tino, the smooth operator and his queen. Yep. And then Paul and Lucy, the loud banter. Or for some reason, uh, Lucy seems to think Paul looks like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Does not at all. No. Nah. This guy looks like not even close. Looks like Bradley Cooper. If like Bradley Cooper grew up in in Birmingham, yeah, eating nothing but just like chip, chips with gravy for his whole life, just like Bradley Pooper. Yeah, fatly <laughs> fatly Pooper. Fatly Pooper. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> he but, even shows up and he's like. What do you think? She thinks I look like Bradley Cooper. I don't look anything like Bradley Cooper. Oh, that's the biggest fishing. Comment. Yeah. And then he goes, turns to the other couple. Hey. You guys think I look like Bradley Cooper? She's like, if I squint a little bit, like maybe and still no. Tino and Petro are just like, who's Bradley Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> not Is that how they said it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I just uh, I don't want to get cancelled after 20, 20 and a half episodes. Yeah, I can't I can't understand wh- I can't tell you I can't articulate why it's wrong. I'm sure there's a very good answer to it. I just know that the difference between me actually doing the accent and putting it out there publicly, I'm I'm more than happy to do this accent. I'm all, I'm okay doing this accent, but when it comes to this, there is something very wrong about a white man a front brace man doing a Zimbabwe accent. But then you get South Park guys like. It's funny because Apu from The Simpsons, like they've cancelled. Yes, him. perfect example. They, they, Hank Azaria can't do Apu anymore. Like yep. that's off the cards, and they've hired an actual um, Indian, Indian guy bloke. to do to do the quickie mutt. When he probably sound he probably sounds like this in real life. Yeah, Hank Azaria. Yeah, right. But they so they've they've canned that character. But then you get like the South Park guys. Just I, I saw a BTS video of them the other day. Just literally 
two white Jews just going, oh, try my shitty walk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous how good my food is. And they're just like, never stop it. Yeah, I suppose when we come up with like, eloquent and poignant social commentary as, mm. as South Park does. And we're not just going, eh, sweet potato, coconut. Eh? Are you really short selling us? <laughs> you don't think we're eloquent to us? Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get back, let's get back on. on. I, I completely agree with you, but I, I just, yeah, just don't feel comfortable You're putting, putting it, it out there. No. Nah. Soft. Are, Coward. Are you going to put it out there? Coward. Hey, I'm editing this week. You're, you're <laughs> not going to do the voice throughout the episode. <laughs> All right, I'll contain myself. Can we get... No, nah, yeah, I'll contain myself. I'll contain myself. <laughs> I will not say anymore. I'm getting it out of my system. Just push it all out. Push it all out. I don't even remember how to do the voice anymore. This reception's just like, holy <laughs> fuck, this is the last time. Yeah, yeah, that's the reaction I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, the door's been open the whole time. Shit, she's like... Call the police. <laughs> All right. Um, and there's the cut. We're All right. Back into it now. <clears throat> so Bradley Cooper, when he doesn't look anything like Bradley yeah. Cooper. Fatly Paul, Pooper. Yeah, Fatly Pooper. And so Paul and Karen host the, the first uh, dinner. They put on a spread of sizzling prawns for appetizers, mm. Spanish chicken, and chocolate tart. So yep. as, as a veggio, what did you think of the, the prawns and chicken? The prawns. I'm about to tee off on the chicken. <laughs> the prawns came out of a fro- the king prawns. Uh, yeah, was I think the, these were the chili prawns. Oh, the chili prawns. King prawns, prawns were the, were the were other. The next, yeah. yeah, it was Petra. So we get double prawns in this episode. Yep. Um, these came out of a bag, uh, just, just just frozen prawns into uh, out of a bag into a bowl and then just kind of like, rolled around in tomato paste. Yep, some garlic and chili. Some and garlic and chili, and it was just fried fried up in a dish. Didn't look appetizing. And then the chicken. Was this the chicken that you were like, oh, that looks so fucking dry? Dude, it, it honestly looked like a block of styrofoam. Like, it looked like something you'd broken off from, like, inside of a fridge box. It looked, yeah, just so dry, just a big chicken breast yeah that they just kind of like wobbling around on the on a bed of spinach yeah so their, their cuisine was like spanish because um paul's a dj, DJ in I- Paul. ibiza yeah and karen lo- loves her music and was always attracted to djs yeah um and yeah, so- that was her thing she always wanted to be on the um on the guest list she was like she was she was what that all day all, always know the dj song is about she's one of those girls yeah vip yeah vip wannabe i should say yeah um, so she she fell head over heels for big buck teeth small spot, <laughs> buck teeth Paul smile as she so lovingly put him MC Nash's David Guetta <laughs> as, he, as he's referred to David by the other Guetta. Paul yeah oh you sound like David Guetta mate your beats are fucking as crooked as your teeth mate isn't isn't David Guetta English yeah I think so so of all people English people should know how it's pronounced I think we're saying it wrong maybe it is Guetta I thought it was Guetta yeah okay maybe yeah we're just taking the piss out of him saying the right way. <laughs> yeah, where the, yeah they they hear it's, us say get up. They're like, it's guetta. It's potatoes, not <laughs> potatoes. It's sweet potatoes <laughs> and peanut butter. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced. Don't give away the best dish of the Sorry, episode. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the chicken just looked atrocious. He basically just like cut up some capsicums, some dude. Yeah, so you laid uh, chorizo sausages and some veggies in like a baking pan, and then just put raw chicken breast on top, slapped it in the oven. <laughs> And just like pulled it out, and then like, and the couples are like, "Yes, yeah, no, it's it's nice." And then just like cuts to them, and just like chicken was dry. Yeah. Was like, yeah, no shit. Like, it was he like put some bullshit like rosemary leaves on it, or, or, like just sprinkled it in some in some shit, and was like garnish. Yep. Oh, mate, thing of beauty. The, the funny thing is, is like since we done we did Ramsey's Kitchen Nightwear which, episode uh, eighteen. Go check that out. Yeah. Um. I've just been going through the trolls of different kitchen nightmares and Ramsey. We're all, both hooked on Ramsey after we watched that 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 one for the for the show. He's awesome. He's just he's just TV gold. Like, yeah, there's just, he won in a billion. Yeah. Um, but since watching him and just like how he critiques stuff and like to to an extent when you first watch him, he's like, oh, he's being a bit snobby. But like the things he's saying is like it's all just like very basic stuff. Like if you want to get flavor out of something. Don't get it out of a frozen packet in the back of a Coles freezer. Yeah, get it fresh. If you're going to make prawns, go down to the go down to the the seafood market and get some prawns. Yeah. So then when we see Brits 
lining up here. I mean, to be fair, they're probably not near any body of ocean. <laughs> they're surrounded by the ocean. Oh, true. They're near fucking... They go down to Ibiza on the weekends to DJ. <laughs> Can't be that. Just <laughs> stuff their fucking their stowaway bags full of prawns on the way back. There's just one, one bag's full of, full of DJ gears, one bag's full of fish. It's the first couple that was not only on Condom with me, but on Border Patrol yeah, as well. Border security. <laughs> Sir, what's in those two bags? Oh, that's just DJ gear. <laughs> it stinks. Probably like a, like a DJ set. <laughs> Something's fishy about this whole career you got going on. Just going from remix to ignition to California love. Just no consistency. And they and then they bring out so Paul loves his DJing so much that uh well let's go. No, actually, because we go they, they bring out the chicken and then they bring out the, the prawns, the chicken. Oh sorry, the prawns and then the chicken mm-hmm. and then before they bring out the dessert, they have a little break where they go out that cause in this show they kind of rate not just the food, but the whole night as a as a product. Yep. So they um, incorporate the entertainment into yeah. that as well. Entertainment is a focal point. Yeah, how was the company? How was the chat? How was the entertainment? Mm. Paul's entertainment was he's got this little fucking tiki hut in his backyard. Yeah, it looks very uh, the block. <laughs> very the block. <laughs> very, we put this up today for this show. <laughs> oh, three shows in one. Border Patrol come time with me and Scotty <laughs> Cam out here. We've been on every reality TV show in the space of 72 hours. Soon to get on Dating on the Spectrum. That's our next fucking <laughs> goal. Um, and they, he just goes out into the into the DJ set and he's like, all right, here's the entertainment. And then they all come out and smoke machines, smoke lights. Machine, lights. So, some, du- some white dude with tr- like a Rasta hat and dreadlocks yeah. on just playing the bongos. A touch to his nuts. Yep. Did you notice that? It's yep. just like on his crotch. He was just going up to the window. Like, hey, yeah. play, play me bongos. Girls, hey. <laughs> Come on now. The other Paul goes up to him. He's like, it's usually a lady who plays the drums. <laughs> hey, you got to pay extra for that. Right? Yeah. Um, and they just have a boogie in the backyard as DJ Paul, like the the like most uncoordinated looking DJ I've ever seen. Like his moves are like me trying to fucking get a crowd going. So he's nearly putting a crack in his laptop. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> put your teeth down, Paul. Hey. Hey. <laughs> It'll see how you... I can't hear you through me molars. <laughs> I can't get me these headphones on over me teeth. But the um the guests seem to love it. Yeah, the, so they had a great time. The Zimbabwean couple came out and um Tino Tino and Paul, Tino and Petro come out and they they um definitely topped the 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 uh, dance floor. Yeah, they won the dance floor. They was, could rate the move. They were sort of in there. They were just like sort of a bit reserved because Paul and Paul were getting on like a house on fire yeah. at, over dinner. Just sort of, yeah, quite reserved, and then the and then fucking Paul just got on the on the decks, and they're yeah. just like, yeah, this is my jam. They really came into their own. Yeah, they're like conversation wise at the dinner party, they're like, this isn't our element. You two white people can hit it off and have yep. white British banter, but then get me on the fucking D floor, or oh, man, and they just got that r- that rhythm. They forgot about that dry chicken straight. Yeah, away. just like, oh, this mm. this night sucks. What you got a dance floor? Let's go. Listen to these moist fucking beats. <laughs> The chicken was as moist as this set. (laughs) Fuck me. (laughs) Can't have it all. Can't have it all. Yeah, great entertainers, but have you ever cooked chicken in your life, mate? (laughs) Mate, (laughs) stick to DJing, bros. Stick to DJing, Paul. You're way better DJ than you are a a chicken wetter. Yeah, absolutely. You're cooking up the D floor, but you... (laughs) I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay you to fucking cook a school lunch or a hospital meal. <laughs> no. David Guetta, not Chicken Wetter, please. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Five stars. Home run. <laughs> and then they finish up the meal or the uh, the night with a chocolate tart, which everyone was just like, yeah, it's a bit sweet. What did that look like again? Was that with the that she decorated with the flowers on no, the outside? That was that was Lucy That's later on. Yeah. So was it just a chocolate tart with a bit of whipped cream on top? Yeah, that came out of the baking tray and kind of fell apart a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty average. So, yeah, pretty forgettable if you can, yeah. like, I've, I've actually forgotten it, so. Yeah, absolutely. Just just a kind of a chocolate tart. And then, like, Nothing t- right home about. Tino, Petra, Paul, and Lucy were just like, yeah, pretty good night. Yeah. I think they ended up giving it, like, a 14 out of 20. Yeah. Weird rating system rating things out of 20. I wonder if it's because it's yeah. couples. I think it's, like, they have 10 each kind of thing. Mm. So they probably both give it a 7. But I'm I'm pretty sure that like even when I've watched the like the original come done with me, uh, it's out of twenty as still well. Out of twenty, that is weird. Yeah, yeah. Make it out of ten. Brits just doubling everything. We got to do it bigger. We got to do it bigger. <laughs> America's do everything bigger. Let's, let's do it out of twenty. 
<laughs> yeah, just trying to compensate for the, the new world power. They do out of 10 over there. <laughs> We're crawling back. World dominance... Well, dominant plan for world dominance will start here. What's your, double the come dine with me ratings? System. What's what's your score out of a score, mate? Yeah, this one gets score out of twenty. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Hey!" hey. <laughs> but from that point on, the bar was set, and so Tino and Petronella they decided to make they decided to make some uh, some Zimbabwean food yes. for the other couples. Yes, they went second, didn't they? They did. They yep. did, yeah. So the Zimbabwean food was, um, I mean, well, they first of all, they, they've they had one dinner party together now, so they're kind of familiar with each other. They're getting along. Hmm, okay. The first couple did prawns for entree, so we're going to do king prawns. Yeah. We'll one-up them. Yeah. Um, <coughs> but they show up now, and they're like, they're boys all of a sudden, like, oh, my God, it's so good to see you. They come out. They have a bit of banter. Yeah. The um, DJ couple who we were just talking about, Paul and Karen, mm. show up and they're like, oh, we wore a, um, Paul's wearing a just a, a kind of a black button down shirt with actual cheetahs just printed Something on it. Something you get from JJ's or Cotton yeah. On. Yep. Just like actual, not cheetah print, like the animal cheetah. Physical cheetahs. Just yep. like nine, ten of them all over the shirt, just stickers. And then <coughs> and then Karen has just a cheetah print shirt. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Petro and... Um, what is it? Petron Tino. Petron Tino. Tino's like, oh, I like the, I like the shirt you guys are wearing, and they're like, yeah, we, um, we thought we would, you know, get in the mood for our guests because you guys are from Zimbabwe, yeah. And we're just like, we've lived in Essex our whole life. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, but you know, we put a bit of a spin on it. It's like, yeah, I'm more British than you, cunt. Yeah, come on now, <laughs> who's a real immigrant? Yeah. Um, and then yeah, speaking of the DJ, I forgot to mention before, but like, <laughs> they like pay, they pay. Big teeth, Paul, a big compliment, like during the dinner party. He's just like, not to his face, I don't think. He's just like, uh, Tino's like, you know, most uh, most DJs are cool. Like most musos are pretty cool, but Paul's just like a pretty average bloke. Yeah, no, he's isn't he like, most DJs or most musicians are a bit- They got some swag. Yeah, they're not down to earth. They're like, they, they kind of think they're a bit up here. Paul's really just like on our level, a real common man. Yeah. It's like, bruz, it's because he's fucking- <laughs> He is. Isn't it? Because he is a common man. He's just a normal, normal bloke from Essex who spent 1200 bucks on some Pioneer DJ decks. Look at his barley hut. He is yeah. truly a common man. He's got love and dream written on the wall of his living room, mate. It's also the name of his first album, so. <laughs> just him airbrushed. Yeah. Angel wings behind him. Cheetah shirt. He's got like the Ricky Gervais go to. Yeah, dude. Just the fucking like white glow. <laughs> Biting onto the bottom of that goatee. <laughs> <laughs> Those absolute fucking His New York shirt. <laughs> All right. Just these guys screamed Kmart. You been to Spain, love? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Sometimes I do a DJ shit there. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the other thing DJ about- DJ shit in Spain. <laughs> Spain. <laughs> you know, Ibiza. That's the other thing about the DJ set. I forgot to mention the other the other white couple, Paul and Lucy. Just midway through this, the, they just cut to Paul just like grabbing onto Lucy's tit. Just hey boys, how are we? This Zimbabwe couple having like an actual boogie. They're just like they're, just sh they're shaking it. Yeah, and there's yeah the white guy's just like hey, it's my missus tit. <laughs> Get on it, lads. <laughs> He's, she's like, I don't, I'm not going to grind up on you in the fucking backyard of a tiki. All right, Tino, having a good time? Yeah, shit set, eh? It's like, I can hear you. It's just Will Ferrell at the end of Wedding Crashes, just like winking at his fucking, like, hey, you seen this? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hitting this. Just grabbing a tit. <laughs> eh? You've been hitting that the whole, yeah. <laughs> Petro's like, I don't need to see this. <laughs> Hey, we all enjoy the dance club a little bit differently. Yeah. The, wait, the house lights are on, dog. Like, wait till you fucking get home. You haven't even had a drink. Like, yeah. it, was a, it was a mocktail at dinner. Yeah. He's drunk off the one shot of, like, vodka and the tiramisu. Yep. But um, <coughs> mo moving back onto Tino and Petronella's uh, meal, they decided to cook. So Paul and Karen cooked prawns. Yes. So Petro and Tino cooked king, king prawns, prawns, which, like, the other couple's like, oh, I'm so excited about this. And the, the, the third couple that hadn't actually cooked yet, they were just like, well, I hope they're bigger than Paul, Paul's prawns because they were tiny. Yeah. And then it cuts to Tino and Petro 
preparing the prawns and it's just a shot of the exact same bag. Yep. <laughs> just the same frozen prawns. Same fr- the same supermarket. They probably just exchanged it. Oh, we had a few leftovers <laughs> if you want them. Oh, uh, man, do you... <laughs> this whole... This whole <laughs> We're running out of ingredients. Could I Is have that- some of the prawns? <laughs> some of the prawns are left over. I do it different. It is I had these. <laughs> hey, go on. We're not using them. And so they're like, yeah. So they, their point of difference was king prawns, same size prawns, mm-hmm. but instead of uh, oh, and guac and guac. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was their difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they they made a guacamole, which was just avocado, M- mashed avocado, mashed avocado, which they were mashing, with no seasoning, which they were mashing in a ki- in a, with a kitchen knife in a big like lasagna dish. It's like. Have you guys ever made guacamole before? <laughs> they literally have a like a cutting knife yeah. that's this thin. Yeah. <laughs> using that to mash up. And they're dancing the whole time. Just yeah. tss, 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 tss. It's like, can you guys be the fucking DJs? You have no <laughs> idea how to cook. Just vibing. But you you good dancers. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done guacamole before. I'm just here to entertain. But I can throw down a boogie. <laughs> you can't pull me in. You cannot pull me in. <laughs> I'll get him. Oh, uh, but so the but the guacamole looked like the most. It wasn't even like worked into the the dish at all. There was nothing else on it. It was just the plate segmented into king prawns, mm-hmm. about like f- four or five of those. Some raw capsicum, some capsicum <laughs> with like cabbage. The yep. worst looking salad I've ever the seen. Salad. It's just like like raw cap. Some cabbage and then guacamole in like a little tub, kind of the size of this mug. Yeah, um, if you're on YouTube, just all separate. And I think the idea is to to dip the um the king prawns into the guac. It just all I believe it, so. It yeah. didn't look that up. Just look like mushy peas yeah. in the guac. Yeah. It was yeah. They didn't put any onion, seasoning, no. lime juice. And of course, Paul, like baby palate Paul, buck teeth baby palate Paul. Oh, yeah, he is just the biggest infant throughout the show. Just, oh, if you're not serving me chicken tendies with great, <laughs> with fucking tomato sauce, I don't really like it. It keeps cutting to him and all, he just, all he has to say is all the things that he doesn't like. So he's like, oh, guacamole, I don't really like guacamole. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like prawns. Why'd you serve them on the first night then? Oh, oh. He doesn't like mushrooms. Yeah. He doesn't like the texture. Yeah. He fucking baby. Absolute infant. If, yeah. If, if it's not not if it's not chicken nuggets from Macca's, oh, I don't know. What do you expect from a thirty-five-year-old bloke that still goes to Ibiza every week? It's it's the same as like a guy from Brisbane who's just like still a toolie at thirty-two. Yeah, just like dude. this is the best week of my life. Now can I get some four and twenty pies for the boys, please? <laughs> Come on. So he's so Paul's bitching about his fucking guacamole at the dinner table, yep. and they're like, "What do you think of the guacamole?" <laughs> <laughs> Take it again. <laughs> And they're like, what do you think of the guacamole? And Paul's like, I don't usually like guacamole, but this is all right when I dip a king prawn in it. And he cuts to him, he's just like, I don't like guac. I didn't like the guac. And they say at the dinner table, the other, um, the the Shane Warne Paul, the um, the the Bradley Cooper Paul. Oh, right. They look <laughs> Shane Warne. They look, they kind of look alike. Yeah, he does. I do- think I've just got big boy looking at me. You're absolutely right. He doesn't look like Bradley Cooper. He looks like... Shane Warne in 2021. Yeah, washed up Shane Warne. Mm-hmm. He's um he's uh, quite honest at the dinner table. He's like mm, king prawn. It's, it's not any, not even a queen prawn. Yeah, it's a, it's a peasant prawn, isn't it? <laughs> it's a peasant prawn. And <laughs> Petro and Tino is just like, well, I'll make a joke out of it then. Yeah, oh, I guess they're peasant prawns. You guys hate my fucking. Queen. <laughs> I'm gonna spit in your oxtail. <laughs> and so the main oh. was the main was oxtail, which Thomas Avergi was like, eh. I was like, this actually looks yeah, fucking. You were into it. It looks real good, but they served it. What do they serve it with? They served it with <sighs> coconut rice and something else. It looked like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I just wouldn't. It, I wouldn't like it, but it looked like it fell off the bone, and it was. It looked. It looked pretty succulent. It was well done, and everyone loved it. It was probably the the best meal out of all all the couples throughout the whole show. So they copy the first couple with their entertainment. They basically come out the side and they're like, "We're going to show you some Zimbabwe and authentic dancing mm-hmm. from our from our homeland," mm-hmm. and um. Trying to drag two white couples into, yeah, the the junkiest like. Petra's like, shake with your mama, gave you, yeah. mama, move your hips, come on, man. And they're just like, eh. it's like Elaine from Seinfeld dancing, just looks like she's having a seizure. <laughs> yeah, just the fucking Tin Man from Wizard of Oz trying to <laughs> fucking bust a move. If only it had some rhythm, <laughs> oil can. The peak, the peak of Petra and Tino's night was they were like, we're gonna serve uh, a dessert. It's like a. <clears throat> It's usually a pumpkin-based dessert. 
Oh. Um, but pumpkins weren't in season, so he decided to use sweet potatoes instead. So they literally mashed up sweet potato. I don't know if they put any sugar in it. Surely they would have had I to. I don't know if they use a knife for this one. <laughs> just dancing, just cutting it up with a fucking steak knife. <laughs> we cut to the avo- we mashed the avocado with a steak <laughs> knife, so we do the same with the sweet potato. You like the guac sweet potato. <laughs> I like the guac residue on the end of the knife, so I use that for the sweet potato. You just can't be stopped, hey? Can't help yourself. <laughs> um, but the most cursed dish I've ever seen. Yeah. Literally just a bowl of mashed sweet potato, peanut butter. kind of. Oh, put it- that's what it was in it. Yeah, peanut butter in sweet potato. And then that's it. They, st- they, they dish that up into their own little portions. And then at the end of it, Whipped cream out of a can, just yep. fucking on top. But they didn't even do like, at least with like, I feel like whipped cream. If you're doing a dessert, it's like it's something to like cover up any fuck ups in like a cake or a mousse or a slice or something. Yeah, they just literally made it look like like literal dog shit. Like yeah. it a, like it was a white turd, it just all just deformed and not like a cartoon picturesque dog shit. Where it was a nice swirl. No, it just looked like a dog was just like had a like a <laughs> hip dysplasia halfway through ripping one. Just <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking zigzag of a dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Just an absolute oh. corkscrew of a, of a <laughs> real <cream>. lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, dessert is served. And then <laughs> everyone's like, mmm. So they, they get cups of the sweet potato, peanut butter, whipped cream <laughs> fucking nightmare for everyone in cups. And then for like the one of the pools, like the, the Bradley Cooper pool, the, like the joke is like he loves his big portions, so yeah. they serve it up for everyone, and then like Paul fit- doesn't take it small. <laughs> it's the whole thing on the show, and so they they just they literally don't serve it to him in a bowl. They just get like the the, the like the like the cooking plate they had it in, like this big casserole this dish, big oven tray. Yeah, this big oven tray. Everyone else goes, yeah, a little cup, and they just go, Paul, here is your serving. Oh, don't forget the whipped cream. Just <laughs> this hot whipped cream. <laughs> And they bring it out and they're like, boy, we know you don't like it small. And even he, who, he eats anything. Yeah. Through the whole show, he's been like, sensational. It's good. It's good. It's good. Love it. Send it down the hatch. Mm -hmm. Even he looks at it and he's like, "Mm." and they're as polite as they can be when they're eating sweet potato whipped cream dessert. With peanut butter. With peanut butter. (laughs) Disgusting. But they're all just like, it's it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Like none of them can even squeeze out or fake a compliment. Mm. Just like the, the the thought that just like oh one vegetable's out of season, so we'll just use another one that's the same color. Yeah, like no no consideration for the taste of it yep. or the texture. It's just like eh, pumpkins and sweet potatoes. It's all the same. <laughs> oh. it's like oh we ran the uh, Granny Smiths are out of season. Let's use fucking give me a green fruit. Uh, Capsicum. Yes. Yeah, using that instead of Granny Smith for an apple pie. Oh, yeah. capsicum pie. Yeah, capsicum pie. <laughs> we can't make the apple crumble because the Granny Smiths are out of season. Now it's green pepper crumble. Oh, well, I'm going to be giving my dog fucking green vomit tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Tino. Just breadcrumbs on green capsicum mashed. So you can, spoiler alert, they didn't win the thousand, no. the thousand pounds. No, they, so the entertainment was great. The Zimbabwe dancing was good. The oxtail was pretty good. Um, dessert let them down. Zimbabwean noppy, it's called. N H N O. Jesus Christ. So N H O P I noppy. Yeah. Zim noppy. I just I wrote, I wrote <laughs> king prawns <laughs> and guac oxtail Zimbabwean noppy, and then in brackets and capitals, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> As if I needed like a cue to remember that that's the most grotesque <laughs> meal I've ever heard. <laughs> like if we read it, we were like, oh, we don't know what angle to take there. Yuck. yuck. <laughs> No, I think that's pretty much built embedded in your memories. I'm going to go to sleep tonight thinking about just sweet potatoes coming into my room. Just eat me. I'm dessert. Sweet potatoes and the peanut butter, man. That's like, buy, <laughs> buy me at the candy bar. Mr. Mavis and the sweetie. Just. Um, so I think they ended up getting like a, like a, uh, they uh, collectively, they got one point lower than the winners, the, than the winners, which was the first couple. Oh, Spoiler alert. you spoiled it. <laughs> I mean, we already did, but. My bad. You're about to hear why the third couple didn't win it. So Bradley Cooper and his loud wife Lucy. Um, so they they had on the menu the first, their entree was a mushroom mess. Yeah. Uh, which is basically they got like a large garden mushroom and then filled it like with cherry tomatoes. Yeah, like a portobello. Um, they filled it with uh cherry tomatoes and feta. feta. So I was like, I was like, if you. 
if you saute that in garlic and butter, like you've got me sold. Yeah. Like I'm actually salivating thinking about that. It sounds so fucking good. Yeah, I'd eat that. And then of course, like the infant fucking Paul just comes. He's like, I don't really like mushroom. I think it's mm. the texture. Yeah. A bit worried about the mushroom, the me- the messy mushroom. It's yeah. Like- if someone doesn't like the texture or the taste of food, it's like, all right, that's one thing. When people are like, if I'm like, oh, do you like mushrooms? And they're like, yeah, I only like it like on pizzas or in pasta. I'm like, then you don't fuck, just say you don't like yeah. it. Don't say I like it when it's disguised by yeah. sauce and cheese. I only like it when it's covered in melted cheese. Yeah. It's like, no, you like cheese. <laughs> I only really do mushrooms on pizza. It's like, no. You're not even, you're not even- You ta- like pizza. You don't even taste mushroom on a pizza. No. Yeah. Or the old pineapple debate. Oh um, God. Baby brain bullshit. <laughs> Where do you sit on the uh, tropical fruit on an Italian dinner? It's real like work email thread level, like um, <laughs> level controversy or it's like, um, like you go into a group interview. So do you like pineapple or no pineapple on your pizza? Yeah. It's like, oh God, let's fucking. I'd love to see an actual office brawl to start out. It's like, oh, gonna, gonna say a controversial thing here. Oh, I actually don't mind a Hawaiian pizza. Fuck you, Dave. That's the thing. It's something that people can fight about, that, which is what people like doing because it's fun, but mm. it's not going to offend anyone ever. Yeah. It's just like, how mad can you really get about pineapple on a pizza? <laughs> I'm Hawaiian. I'm not Hawaiian. They, they thankfully didn't have that debate on um, on come down with me tonight. Because they're grown up. So they had the mushroom mess, which they said like <clears throat> when they got like the reviews, people were just like, yeah, I didn't, didn't really like it. I'm not a big fan of mushroom, the texture, blah, blah, blah. And then Karen was actually like, I actually never liked mushroom growing up, but I loved it. That was yeah. great. And they were like, oh, that's nice. And then like- She said the- she despised mushroom. She despised mushroom. <laughs> like they did her wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Those little fungi fucks. Yeah. I despise them. Just a very strong take on mushrooms. <laughs> I, don't know, I thought it was funny wording. Someone had a bad trip at a festival yeah. once. We get it, okay? <laughs> I despise magic mushrooms. <laughs> I got PTSD when I look at them. <laughs> I had a bad Woodstock, sorry. <laughs> It's been 20 years, Karen. Get over it. You have mushrooms on fucking pizza. Mushroom mess. Fuck, that's what they kept calling me in. <laughs> it's like 69. <laughs> Mushroom mess. Just, oh, <laughs> I'm seeing colors. I'm tasting colors. <laughs> Oasis, bring me out of this trip, please. No one will. Fuck leave. you. You don't like mushrooms. She's just hearing the lyrics that don't waste, don't, um, don't waste your, don't look back in anger. You're not talking to an Oasis yeah, fan. No, don't look. That's I'd probably know it if I heard it, but yeah, not a big- Wonderwall, it doesn't matter. The joke works for Wonderwall <laughs> as well. I was just saying, she's hearing the lyrics to Wonderwall. But it's just directed at her about go, being on mushrooms. It was the one Oasis song that 99% of the population doesn't know. Uh, Today is going to be the day that you're going to die. You're going to OD on mushrooms, Karen. <laughs> oh, I despise them. They're singing about me. How does she? How does she love music if she had that really bad trip at, at a festival? That's why, she, that's why she transitioned to only loving DJs. She was yep. like, "Fuck real instruments! Just, I'm not doing it." Just coke and caps for me, please. <laughs> no one's ever had a bad trip on fucking a beathed Paul DJ set. Yeah, having apple teenies and getting felt up by a Spanish bloke. <laughs> getting your drink spiked. I'll take that over magic mushroom mess, Lisa. Karen. <laughs> MMK. MMK. Mush, <laughs> mush Miss Karen. Mush Miss Karen. But this turned her around. This did turn this around. It's such a good dish that it erased all the PTSD from Oasis. Bad and trip, mushy trip. But that was the best dish of their night. I think everything went downhill from them, for Every, them from there. Yep. It, oh, what was dish two? So dish two was the fillet of beef. And he, he gets the order from everyone and everyone kind of has a different order. There's like a few well dones. There's two well dones, one medium to well done and then one medium. Yeah, okay. So Paul's like, is it Paul? Yeah, it is yeah. Paul. It's second Paul. Shane Warren Paul. Fatly Pooper. Yeah, Fatly Pooper. I love how we got two nicknames for Fat Lou Pooper, <laughs> Fat Shane Warren Paul, and none for original I Be The DJ Paul. Nash, Nasha Paul. Nasha Paul, Buck Teeth. Yep. Buck Teeth, Buck Teeth Bill. Um, he, DJ Dentist. DJ Dentist. <laughs> there you go. Take it. Um, he takes the order for all of them and he's like, oh, okay, yep, this this, this is done different. This, all, all at different temperatures, or not different temperatures, all at different stages of cooking. Correct, yep. Um, and then he just puts them all on the grill together and he, they all turn out the fucking same. The exact same, yep. <laughs> and he like, freaks out because he's stuffed a, they showed him preparing them and he just 
shoves oh a, 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 a leaf of rosemary in the top of each one. And the wife is like, um, I don't really, I don't think that's how you're supposed to. And he's like, this is my area, Karen. Yep. Lisa. <laughs> this is my area, Lisa. Lucy. This is, Lucy. <laughs> this is my area, Lucy. Don't fucking interrupt the meat section. Oh, the old ball and chain getting in my way, fucking doing a masterpiece. And he's just stabbing these steaks with sprigs of rosemary. So uh, you obviously don't cook steak very often because no. you are a veggio. But like just, mm. and I'm, Sure, I'm saying this for a whole lot of people that do know how to cook steak, but if you're going to, what you do is season it with salt and pepper mm. at room temperature. Mm. And then when you cook it in a cast iron skillet, you cook it with butter and a sprig of rosemary in there. So you cook it right. all in the pan together. Right. And then you're like basting it in like the rosemary butter. Yeah. So it's like the juices are flowing into it. I'm salivating thinking about it. I'm actually hungry right now. That did sound pretty good. Yeah, good. it's it's honestly, a, a, you can't go past a well-cooked steak mm. unless you're, you're veggio. But when they when he brings the meat out, when he when he brings the steak fillets out, they all try them and they're kind of no one really got what they asked for as far as medium rare, well done. It's all just like, uh, it's all just grey, <laughs> a bit yeah, a bit grey with a tinge of pink. Yeah, and um, Tino and Karen end up swapping meats because they got what each other asked for more. Yep. Tino's like, should we do a meat swap? And she's like, oh yeah, I guess so. Just in front of the wife Lucy, who. In front of all all of her dishes, when she's sat down, when the dishes are served and everyone's trying them, she's just sitting there doing that so apologetic thing, just like, "Oh, dare oh. I ask? Is it okay? What do you really think?" Oh, it's 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 all right. It's it's not what I asked. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know. Mushroom isn't it for everyone. We probably shouldn't have served it up. And yeah, my hot retard. I can't say retard. <laughs> you can. My simple husband just fucked up the steak, <laughs> and just and, and sorry. I I know I know I'm terrible. I know I'm a terrible chef, and everyone's just like. Fucking calm down. Just chill out, loose. Um, so, so, uh, and then, well, what's their entertainment? I can't even remember what they, did they even have entertainment? They, they were the one where they um, jumped outside on the jet ski. Oh yeah. So the, the, Paul and Lucy are like the outdoorsy type. So they've got a caravan. Mm. Um, Paul talks about how he likes to go whitewater rafting. Yeah. And then like, and then like they just cut to like a, a shot of like the other Paul and Tino just up on this like double jet ski, just like holding each other. Just like, hey! In the driveway, just on the trailer. Just the most fake, the fake fun you've ever seen. The Paul, Paul is grabbing Tino by the waist on the back. Like it's Titanic. Yeah. Hold me, Jack. Yeah. They're just having so much fun. Like, put your hands up. Don't squeeze the sweet potato out of me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell the producers were just like, we need more B-roll footage. We didn't yeah. get enough of these guys just drinking cocktails before their shitty steaks. Yeah. What was their entertainment other than that? I don't think <clears throat> there was. I mean- They mustn't have had any. I don't think they did. I think it was just like good dinner conversation, which it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was what, are they, what did they say? Um, so like um, Lucy mentioned, oh yeah, Paul just usually sleeps outside. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. Tina's like, why do you sleep outside? Like, what's the go there? And he's like, you know, after a, after a long hard day, I just, I like to come home, just sit under the stars, get a fire going, have a, have a beer. And I just like to have some peace and quiet before I hear the Paul, Paul, Paul. Yeah. And, and both the other husbands at the dinner table are like, like that sounds all right. I could get around that. Yeah, yeah. I sounds, sleep out. Sounds stairs. tranquil. Yeah, yeah. Sounds lovely. Um, so yeah, I think there's just was chat, and um, and Paul didn't like that Tino was talking. That they were chatting about doing like whitewater rapids, and they've both oh, yeah. done that before. And Tino's talking about, oh, I've done like a a grade six run before, which is like super dangerous. And apparently. Paul's like, oh yeah. Paul's like starts it. He's like, oh yeah, I'm, I've I've done instructing before. I've d done like level four rafting. And Tino's like, hmm. I've done level six. Yeah. And he's oh. like, oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, the fakest intro. The most disingenuous, yeah. like, I'm engaged with this conversation. Like, yeah. if you're talking. Yeah, so I went mm -hmm. and did this four. This oh yeah, four wow. Run. Oh wow. Yeah, it was mm. actually it was pretty dangerous. Oh yeah. wow, yeah. <laughs> mm. And then it just cuts the pool and it cuts the fatly pooper and he's just like, There's no chance he did yeah. a level six. Oh, I couldn't do a level five. There's no chance yeah. this fucking this guy can't even cook sweet potato properly, he did a level six. You're telling me the guy who made sweet potato peanut butter whipped cream <laughs> is out there doing level six white <laughs> rapid runs and the wife on the on the B roll is like it's like I knew you didn't fucking believe him when he said that. I knew you didn't believe him. I could just, I could just tell. It's like the yeah. most Essex accent ever. Oh, I knew you were fucking. You thought he was full of shit out there. I knew it. And it's like, yeah, of course, because I was like, mm. oh yeah, cool man, yeah. Oh, level six, hey. 
I've seen people die on that shit, bro. And the narrator's just like, hmm. There's a, like a, there's like a narrator yeah. who drops like funny quips throughout the episode, just taking the mickey out of these guys. And he's yeah. just like, well, I've done a level 10, Paul. So what do you say about that? Yeah, just just cue from James Bond coming through and going, mm, wow. Like monocle stroking yeah. his mustache. Well, voice. Mr. Bond, you say you're the outdoorsy type, but you can barely cook a steak yeah. and you don't go down rapids that fast. I saw you on the jet ski just out in the trailer. Didn't look like much control on that, Tino. <laughs> you ripped a fart climbing up there. <laughs> Good sir, and your pantaloons. <laughs> Voice over king. <laughs> yeah, all the budget was just going into him writing his jokes before. Yeah. There, was, there was clearly no no budget in like the the production. Like all these like cramped uh, up shots. Just yeah, the, the when they do the reveal at the end, which we're gonna get to right oh, now. Oh god, they do. So they um. They've all voted now. I mm-hmm. think they, they both kind of thought the final votes for that last one, They I think they lo- got last in the end. So Paul Paul and Lucy tied second with Tino and Petra and oh, then okay. Paul and Karen, DJ and or, and Yum. Yum. And, yeah. and Mushroom. DJ Dentist. D- DJ Dentist and Mushroom Mess. <laughs> mushroom Mess. <laughs> She didn't even cook the dish. She just we conjured up this anecdote about how she had a bad trip at a festival. <laughs> So anyway, mushroom, so they won. So mushroom mess and DJ dentist win. Yep, um, they and win they, by one point. And the the prize is uh, a, th- a thousand pounds. a thousand pounds cash. A thousand pounds cash. So the way they reveal that, there's no presenter or host or anything in this whole show, with, like to tie anything together. Just a really weaselly little narrator going, mm, yeah. "Yes, that, wasn't that delightful?" Yeah, but no one on screen to kind of like tie everything together. It's just completely on the on the couples to handle it themselves. Yep. So they're just kind of awkwardly standing around one of their lounge rooms, whoever's was the biggest, mm. which is still tiny. Yeah. Um, with um, a like uh, a metal, what do you call it? Like a- It's like a serving dish with like, a, you, you know it if you've seen any movie with like a posh dining. And yeah. so they have like the big, this big silver, like half bowl. Like in Shrek 2, when they come in and pull the, the metal um, lid, I guess, off the metal tray of like yep. pig. Like I think you, I think we've explained that we we haven't done much fine dining as you can tell. <laughs> what is the fucking word for that? Just a HSP. <laughs> that's that's yeah, the extent yeah, so of our it's dining. It's not styrofoam. What do you call it? <laughs> Metal. <laughs> yeah, is it? A, it looks like a bowl with a handle on the <laughs> fucking bottom. That's basically what it is. Yeah. So they so they pull the um they pull the metal <laughs> lid off the metal you tray. We'll call it a lid. <laughs> and it's like a thousand pounds cash. Well, a, a thousand pounds cash with in, in bunny ears in quotations um, on like a little scroll which has the winner on it. Yeah, and then they read out the winner. It's like oh fucking DJ dentist and mushroom mushy pies, pe- <laughs> <laughs> mush brain mushy peas, mag- magic mushroom. Just going straight to the tiki hut setup, love. <laughs> and they throw the cash in the air and they're like yeah, and then fucking DJ uh, uh, no fucking Zimbabwe and. Zebras get down and have a bookie, and everyone's having a good time. Start dancing to Shakira, hips don't lie. Yeah. Tom's just like humming it throughout the like the end of the end of the episode. I was just like, catchy, dude. It is. It's a great song. Um, so there were our winners for the week. They were. They were at the winners for the week. And um, is this a winner of a show, would you say? <clears throat> it was entertaining mm-hmm. enough. I probably wouldn't go back and watch another one. Maybe I'll maybe I'll watch like a um, Come Dine With Me singles just to see where it all started. Yeah, it's a bit more bite-sized, the 23-minute the mm. episode. So you can probably get a bit more out of that. So you can check out all of season 17 of uh, Come Dine With Me singles mm. and season five of Come Dine With Me couples on SBS On Demand. So basically, the, it's because it's it's because we're coming off math still, which is like you sit down at a dinner party and everyone fucking hates each other and you're waiting yep. for drama. And this is just like six nice English people getting along. Yeah, we're like, where's the where's the life? Where's Being the ruined. tension? Yeah, where's the Hans Zimmer yeah. fucking yeah. score in the background? Da, 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 da. <laughs> None of that. I hate guacamole. I love guacamole. <laughs> it's just Shakira. It's much a much simpler show. You don't feel like. Um, you don't feel sick after watching it like you do, Mass, which nah. is nice. It's it's definitely like a show that I've watched before, just hung over, just having a laugh. Just yeah. it's 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 very lighthearted, very very consumable. Yeah, chuck this on after an episode of Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares and get your full British culinary experience. Oh, absolutely, mm. yeah. And then a little bit of a little bit of Ainsley on Ready Steady Cook if you want to. <laughs> it's the scariest smile of all time. Shout out to Jace. He made a joke the other day that Ainsley has a smile that can send sailors home, that can guide <laughs> sailors home. 
Thought that was a good bit. He's beaming, mate. <laughs> real, real light guard grin. So having lighthouse a, grin. Ha- having a look at uh, "Come Dine with Me," I was like, "What's the show called again?" "Come Dine with Me." What couples, would you? Couples come dine with me. Did I not give a rating? No. <laughs> you, I, I asked you if it was a winner, and you're like, "Yeah." Oh, okay. Every single time you ask me for a rating, I go, "Oh, let me think about it." Rant for ten minutes, and then come. Okay, back. so yeah. my rating is. <laughs> you, have to ask me. you have to either ask me again or just go. All right, I'll steer the ship. This is what I give it. Oh, there, just Pirates of the Caribbean all over again, mate. It's Carl doing mayonnaise on the steering wheel again. <laughs> oh, there, tiger! <laughs> give us a rating before you go any further into the sea. Come here, you black pearl. Um, this come dine with me gets. Um, Gets five. You know what I'm going to give it. Five. Get, yeah, I'd say it gives it five. I, come, couples come dine with me. Gets five peanut butter, sweet potato, whipped cream desserts out of ten. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you give? Come dine with me. Five couples? out of ten. It's not bad. Bring yeah. Five, yeah. I'd probably. Yeah, I'd give it a probably. Hmm. Just got to pick my rating system. Mm. Um, I would probably give it six and a half. Um, whole whole punctured steaks. <laughs> Out of 10, <laughs> rosemary hole punctured steak. Yeah, it was either that or just um, a six, six and a half out of 10 asymmetrical sets of teeth, but that wouldn't be nice. <laughs> no, leave. We, we beat up DJ Dentist enough this episode and his, his wife's still going through psychosis after a psilocybin uh, adventure. <laughs> his teeth are actually straight. She's just still wigging out and sees them as buck teeth. Whoa, your <laughs> teeth are always moving, <laughs> dude. It's, it's like, talking- mate, I... I I had dentures, babe. I, I had, I had, I had braces, babe. I've got a perfect dental history. She's like, nah, they keep fucking no, moving. They're, dog. they're coming for me. All right, mushroom mess. So yeah, six six and a half out of ten punctured steaks. Okay, six and a half. That's a good rating. Either that or mushroom messes. I'm just <laughs> mess. I picked three. So. You've got a few you can choose. And if you have made it this deep into the episode, thank you so much for joining us this week on OTAT. I've been Jake. I've been Tom. <laughs> yes, you have. I am and have been Tom. Give us a like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Give us a rating on Apple Podcasts if you're watching mm-hmm. it through that way. If it's on Spotify, add it to your library. Um, and we will see you probably next week. Most definitely next week. OT80 out.